Vendors from across the country have come here to this marine base in 29 Palms, California, to show how their renewable energy technology can benefit troops in the field. This is uh, basically a high concentration photovoltaic system. It follows the sun in both axes. Basically, it turns around and goes up and down, and that allows you to basically to harvest the sunlight for around 10 hours a day. It uses optics to concentrate light onto a very small cell. Around We use around 540 times uh, concentration. Uh, the cells basically they originate for space applications, so they are very robust and they've been modified for uh, terrestrial usage. Well, we're looking at a uh, concentrated solar thermal generator that we built by ourselves up in Maine, four guys. Uh, we used all commercial off-the-shelf parts to build it. We wanted to keep it simple, lightweight, mobile, and tactical. And it generates both power and hot water. How much power does it generate? Maximum power, optimum, is 96 watts per hour. What we have here is the Vehicle Integrated Power Unit Regulator, or the Viper. Uh, the Viper is a hybrid energy system designed to work with the military's tactical vehicles. Uh, it uses energy from that vehicle, goes into batteries. We use that energy to power lights and computers and radios and anything they need. You've seen the solar panels over here. They provide additional power, which cuts the runtime even more. The Viper is going to cut the runtime on a tactical vehicle by 50 to 75 percent when it's used at a guard post or a, a, an intersection in Afghanistan.